I have a portable generator that I want to use to run a 220V air compressor. The generator has a 4-pin outlet and the generator has a 3-pin plug. I made a cable taking the two hots and the one ground, ignoring the neutral, and it blows the starting capacitor on the air compressor. Can someone advise why the above configuration blows the starting capacitor on the 220V motor and what changes I need to make to have the generator and compressor work correctly? I can provide pictures on request. Thanks. Hi, I'm Norm and I'd like to help. What is the generator capacity, not surge, in kilowatts and what is the size of the compressor motor in horsepower? If the generator is too small, the starting capacitor can be damaged by excessive starting times. Many generator companies are excessively enthusiastic about the size motor their generators can start safely. Hi Norm, thanks for picking my question up. The generator is rated 8000 watts, 10,000 surge. The electric motor on the air compressor has the following info, volts. 208 to 230 amps, 15 type, CPHC, 60 time, cunt. 15 amps x 230 volts equals 3450 watts, so your generator should be able to start it. Although I am usually more comfortable with a generator capacity of 3 times the motor rating. Did the compressor try to start turning or did it just sit and hum? The air compressor started and ran dot smoke and liquid appeared from the starting capacitor. I ordered replacement capacitors thinking they were faulty but the exact same thing happened after I replaced them. It surely sounds as though the motor is not starting properly. Your connection sounds correct, although a meter, if you have one, applied to the generator output to verify that you are supplying 240 volts to the motor would help. If the starting voltage is too low, the motor may not come up to sufficient speed to open the starting switch and the capacitor would be disturbed as you describe. Generally, you need to have at least 192 volts during starting. So leaving the neutral from the generator unwired is okay. I only wired the ground and the two hots, I think. Yes. The neutral is required only if you have to have 120 volts. I just realized, you said capacitors plural. Are there two capacitors on the motor? I did measure the voltage on the generator and it looked okay. What was the voltage during starting? Yes, there is a start and a run capacitor. No, I didn't measure it during starting. Did both of them blow out? Just the start capacitor dot the run capacitor looked okay. Okay. It's back to starting voltage. You need to measure the voltage during starting. If your compressor is hard to start, is maybe pulling too much current and dropping the voltage to where the starting switch can't open. Here are the capacitor specs. 161 to 193 MFD UF 220 to 250 volts round electric motor start capacitor HVAC 250 VAC V volt RC0009 motor run capacitor RC0009 to 20 MFD 370 V VAC volt 20 UF round HVAC Tempo AC electric. That sounds right. Starting voltage is the issue. See and you measure that? If you have a digital meter, use the hold feature to capture the lowest voltage read. I'm going to buy one to solve this mystery. Any recommendations? I will reorder a few more capacitors. And maybe look at wiring a lead from my dryer outlet and run a cable from that. It's the only 220 circuit in the house. 
What rules govern the length of a 220 volts cable? From TH dryer to compressor. Trying the dryer circuit will verify that the compressor motor is okay. There are any number of decent digital meters available at Lowe's or other home improvement stores. I personally use a Simpson 360 analog meter, but I'm old and the meter is expensive. The dryer circuit should be fused at 30 amps, so number 10 wire should be adequate up to 50 feet or so, unless there is a problem with the compressor, such as a failing bearing. Okay, Norm. Thanks for the guidance and have a great day. You too. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.